Hello you all, I'm back and I'm continuing, as always, where we left off last week. For now, I'm still working alone, but soon my reinforcements will arrive. And then, ladies and gents, things are about to get very busy here. The familiar process of welding shut all the screw holes, which I've become quite proficient at, is already on the way. After removing the teak very carefully, tearing down the rotten plywood, scraping off the adhesive remnants and preparing the base layer with a rotary wire brush, it's finally time to make the deck watertight again. And then you always forget one. But wait, where is it now? I mean, I just saw it. I'm sure it's hiding in plain sight somewhere. Ah, here it is. While I'm preparing the hole with the angle grinder and welding it shut with the semi-automatic welder. Oh, please don't. Come on. Oh, oh no! Always use the right tools. Do as I say and not as I do. Anyway, the next day came and then the cavalry arrived to help. Ta -da! First in the form of my son who was clearly very eager to get involved. I like seeing that. Then I removed the railing so that number two could fully focus on the stanchions. My son was clearly ready to begin the day's task. The compressor was running at full speed and the water pump was drawing enough water to hydroblast effectively. In this weather it's quite a pleasant job. It was hot that day, man it was extremely hot. And you get wet, you get soaking wet down to your underwear. But the sun dries you off quickly. So it wasn't a bad position to be in at that point at least. It is so wonderful to see my kids working so diligently on the resurrection of this beautiful ship. There's still a tremendous amount of work ahead of us, but together we'll get there step by step. Aha, now the big guns have arrived. Reinforcement number three was also put to work. And me, once again, I ran because the pump wasn't drawing enough water. That is a reoccurring problem, as loyal viewers know. I've had this issue for a while. I took the pump home for inspection and possible repair, but at home it worked flawlessly. Turning the pump off and on again temporarily fixes the issue, but it's quite annoying. I thought maybe the distance to the water was the issue, so I mounted it just above the water surface. As I did at home, basically. This made the manipulation a bit trickier, though. Unfortunately, it yielded the same result, so I placed it back on the bank. That's way easier. Anyone hear the strangest thing of it all? During the day, the intervals got bigger to a point where it was running non-stop, for that day at least. Strange thing, that pump. 
Well, no time for sobbing. There's work to be done. All hands full steam ahead. Let's conquer this rust. I see my son has copied his father's modus operandi. This was me last summer on the aft deck. While my two lovely ladies are sending, I'm running again to restart the pump. And then to refill the sand. And then to do a relay of the task for a free facial scrub. I also thought it was time to remove the old nameplate of the boat. No worries, I consulted Poseidon and he agreed with me that the name Comdub, meaning as usual, isn't really applicable to this grand project. There is nothing as usual about what we're doing here. We're learning as we go, and that's thanks to you all. I've learned so much from your comments and questions, so please keep them coming. It helps grow and educate this community, so many thanks to you all. And although Poseidon gave his approval, the boat wasn't quite ready to let go so easily and resisted a bit. I'll have to come up with a very strong name to convince her, but hey, eventually, she gave in. While my wife tirelessly continues scrubbing away the small nooks and crannies, I wanted to ask you all if you know this company. I tried contacting them, with no luck. It's the old life raft that came with the boat, and it has such a wonderful vintage look about it that I wanted to get it recertified. Is this in any way possible, or do you say it's not worth the hassle? Well, leave me a comment if you know. Would be great if I could, but there's definitely no must. I guess I'll have to wrap up here for this week. Next week is the accumulation of these days of working together on the boat, and hopefully we'll see you all back then for the big reveal of yet another piece of newly acquired beauty. Please stay tuned for more DIY boat restoration fun. See you all soon.